Dollar stores across America are shutting down by the thousands, suggesting that low and middle income consumers in America, they're really starting to struggle with this being a potential leading indicator of a deterioration in the economy. With Dollar Tree and Family Dollar recently announcing that they're going to close over 1,000 stores due to poor working conditions, inflation, and a general consumer pullback. Now, what's amazing about these dollar stores and why you need to pay attention to this story is that they are actually the biggest retailers in America by store count. Dollar General has over 18,000 stores. Dollar Tree has 16,000 stores. They're the number one and number two largest retailers in America by store count, and they are really, really struggling. Their stock prices are way down. Their revenue is flatlining. And it's because the low income consumer that shops at these dollar stores, they've now run out of money. And this is something that's very important to understand because a lot of people think that the US economy is healthy right now. You know, there was just a jobs report that came out that said we added 300,000 jobs. So lots of people are saying no recession, everyone is fine. Yet when we zoom in on these individual pockets of the economy, like dollar stores and low-income consumers, we're seeing more and more cracks develop. With data from Bloomberg showing that the median household income of store visitors at Dollar General is about 54,000 in 2024, and that's actually gone down over the last couple of years. While at Dollar Tree, it's 60,000, and Family Dollar, it's 48,000. So it's uh, income levels that are definitely below the US median income of 75,000 shopping at all these stores. And it's the struggles now of these lower and middle income consumers in this economy in 2024 after multiple years of crazy inflation, you know, grocery prices way out of control, car insurance prices out of control, rent out of control. It's now finally starting to cause many consumers in America to crack. And so you can think of these dollar stores as almost like a leading indicator of what's happening in the economy. So while the unemployment rate in America is still low, it's 3.9%, while you know the jobs reports still show lots of jobs growing, while the GDP is still growing, okay, all of those things are happening, largely because our government is just taking out crazy amounts of debt. We see that over here in the real world, lower, low and middle income consumers are having issues. And because of that, Dollar stores, the biggest retailers in America, are now also having issues. With the average same store revenue growth over the last year of the four largest dollar stores being only 2.2%. So these dollar stores, which uh, account for 38,000 retail locations spread between Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, and Five Below, they only grew their revenue 2.2% over the last year, which is less than inflation. Inflation over the last year has been 3.2%. So these dollar stores grew their revenue actually minus 1% in inflation adjusted terms. And you can see very clearly the one struggling the most in terms of um, income was Family Dollar. Family Dollar lost 2.7 billion last year uh, for a negative 20% profit margin. I mean, that's just hemorrhaging cash. And it's why 1,000 of the 8,400 Family Dollar locations are gonna shut down. Now, so far, we haven't seen any store closure announcements from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. And Dollar General is the big one. Dollar General has 20,000 stores almost. They still made money last year, although their profit margin is only 4%, so kind of thin margins here. And unconcerningly, their same store revenue growth was only 0.2%. So Dollar General really struggled to grow revenue last year. They have the most stores. Maybe they'll be forced to announce some closures as well. And this poor performance is reflected in the stock prices for all of these uh, dollar store companies. Dollar General, their stock price is down 27% over the last year. Dollar Tree, their stock price is down 9% over the last year. And then Five Below, their stock is down 14% over the last year. And ultimately, I think the big problem for these dollar stores and the US economy more broadly is inflation. It's the fact that really nothing in America costs a dollar anymore. You know, when these stores started 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, they could call themselves a dollar store and have a majority of the goods in the store be a dollar or less. But of course, that is no longer the case today with the inflation of the last two years and of the last 20 or 30 years. With the consumer price index in America roughly doubling since 1996. So in 1996, the consumer price index was at an index level of 155. Now it's at 311. 
So in roughly 28 years, the prices of everything in America have doubled. And those price increases are especially problematic for dollar stores. Because folks, I just went to a local family dollar here in Nashville, Tennessee to see what was going on, to see how much stuff cost, and I was shocked at how expensive things were. You know, I looked first on the oral hygiene aisle, looking at mouthwash, and mouthwash costs anywhere from four to eight dollars at the family dollar which to me seems just as expensive as it would be any place else. Then I looked at laundry detergent, which is $10. $10 for laundry detergent at a dollar store. Then I looked at paper towels. Paper towels cost anywhere from $4 to $15, depending on how big the size of the pack was. Again, I'm not really seeing anything noticeable in terms of being cheaper. The same with breakfast cereal, although maybe this was the one item that I thought might have been a little cheaper than some uh, maybe supermarkets. You could get breakfast cereal here for $2.75. Maybe this item is a bit cheaper, um, but the milk that you're going to have with your cereal, it's $4 a gallon. So you're not really saving much there. And so what we're seeing here is a, a, a business that was once meant to cater to you know lower income people pricing itself out of that market kind of similar to how some other businesses are doing that. Um, you folks might remember a couple weeks ago, I did a video on McDonald's and how McDonald's performance is starting to decline due to the fact that the cost of Big Macs has spiked. I mean, to get a Big Mac meal at a McDonald's in upstate New York, you have to pay $13, um, which now makes McDonald's just as expensive as like going to Chipotle. And this obviously is starting to cause issues for the McDonald's brand in the same way that Dollar General is now starting to have issues because the prices of its goods have gone up to a price that uh, the people going there can no longer afford. And so, slowly but surely, one by one, U.S. consumers just continue to get more and more squeezed in their ability to pay the bills and their ability to afford the basic necessities of life, which is a bad sign for the health of the economy. I mean, that's my main takeaway from this story, everyone is that this is yet another sign that the U.S. economy is actually really struggling under the surface. For lots of people, I would say for most people and for most businesses, it's a massive struggle out there, which of course comes at a massive contradiction to what we're seeing in asset markets, like the stock market's at an all-time high right now, home prices are still near all-time highs, we're seeing cryptocurrencies uh, start to go back into a bubble, so we're seeing asset markets still behaving and pretending like the economy is uh, healthy. They're actually acting like there's going to be a boom. I mean, asset markets are acting like there's going to be a boom, an economic boom. That's the only way to justify at all what's going on with stocks and housing right now is this underlying assumption that somehow our economy is just going to explode in a positive way um, over the next couple of years. But I'm not seeing that, folks. I mean, I don't know about you guys. You can let me know what you're seeing in the economy in the comments section. But the more I do research into these specific companies and these specific earnings reports, the more I see that there's problems. And one report that I would really encourage you guys to read each month so you can have more of a real feel for what's going on in the economy and under understand things from a fundamental level is the small business survey. Because the Small Business Survey by the National Federation of Independent Businesses, the NFIB, that is the survey that's really cutting to the core of what's happening in the economy. Um, small businesses, they account for 50% of employment and over 90% of all the entities. They're the ones who are really telling you, along with these dollar stores in real time, what's going on. And we can see that the Small Business Optimism Index declined once again on Main Street we can see the Small Business Optimism Index registered at 89.4 in the most recent month, and it's just been trending at a really low level the last year and a half. I mean, this is a really bad figure, everyone. This is about as low as it's been since we got out of the last crash in 2011 in terms of small business optimism. And really where things are looking most negative are expectations of the economy to improve. Almost no small businesses think that that's gonna happen. We're also seeing really negative trends on earnings. Small business earnings are going down. Businesses aren't really planning to increase inventory levels because they have a negative perception on future sales. 
you know, it's not a pretty picture for these small businesses. With the NFIB's chief economist putting it very succinctly, he says that although the economy has not tanked, the edges are starting to fray. Government statistics are more volatile and don't square with many independent measures of economic activity. Inflation is proving sticky. Small business owners have been pessimistic about the economy for years, with business optimism re remaining below its 50-year average since August 2021, with their outlook for near-term business conditions at 50-year lows. And so, folks, I know many of you um, have been waiting for the economy to decline, hit recession. You've been waiting for a crash in the stock market and the housing market. And I know many of you are frustrated that it hasn't happened yet. Meanwhile, other people are relieved it hasn't happened yet. While most people are kind of saying to themselves, like, how hasn't it happened yet? Like, how hasn't this happened yet? And the answer is that these things take time, uh, especially when the U.S. government is trying to do everything it can to prevent the collapse. But the more and more that these warning signs pile up, like dollar stores shutting down, like small businesses reporting record high pessimism for the future of the economy, the more that I become convinced that at some point, yes, we will see this downturn play out. And when it does, it's probably not gonna be pretty. Of course, folks, I wanna hear what you think in the comments section below. Where do you think the economy is heading? And what do you think about dollar stores? Do you shop there? Are you seeing dollar stores close in your area? And do you think more of these dollar stores are gonna shut down in the future? Let me know in the comment section below.